Hello, online pipe community. Ethan, parsimonious piper here. It is Cobb Tuesday. Got my Cobb Tuesday Cobb. Got my Cobb Tuesday hat. Today's Cobb is a Missouri Meerschaum Great Dane spool. In it, in it, I have some Emerson Southern Forged Ardfinnan. Now, this is one that Jim classifies as a, an other or something, not really a categorized blend. I would call it Amer an American English or a, an American Oriental. It's got um, Latakia, Kentucky, uh, Yellow Virginia, and Smyrna. Smyrna is reputed to be the most most fragrant, the most aromatic of the Orientals. Definitely get that here. I taste that up front with the Latakia. I'm guessing that the the Orientals are playing together with the Dark Fired Kentucky because Dark Fired Kentucky can sometimes have a, a bit of a floral, um, a, a bit of a floral essence, both in the flavor and the the aroma. In addition to the the deeper Dark Fired Kentucky Burley type flavor, and I'm guessing they're playing together in this. Let's get relit. I really want, I really want to like this more than I do. This is going to be a three for me on the tobacco reviews scale of three out of four. It's good, but maybe it's the Virginia in it. It bites, it bites me. Um, I can't smoke it slowly enough to not bite and yet fast enough to really taste anything. Um, I like the interplay, but yeah, it, it bites me. So uh, this is one that I like, wouldn't buy it again. Um, I would be very interested in seeing that Virginia replaced by some you know, some light burly um, or a medium burly, something that, uh, or even an unflavored stove Virginia or a Cavendish that, um, that would give it some body without, without the burn of the Virginia. Because the flavor, the flavor is good. The the yellow Virginia, its lightness. Uh, I don't I don't really detect any any citrus or grass or hay out of it, which are the things I usually don't like in a light Virginia. I'm not getting those. I'm just getting bit. Yeah, my mouth gets hot, hot, hot. For those of you who are Virginia types, though, uh, you might be able to smoke this slowly enough to really enjoy it. The flavor, the flavor is really good. The, the sourness, the floral of that Smyrna um, in with the Kentucky and the Latakia, very good. This might be right up your alley. In fact, you might prefer this to, to having that Virginia replaced with a Burley. Give it a shot. Yeah, it does taste good. Childhood Memories. Rustic Piper is having a, just for the heck of it, just because giveaway. He asked us to share a childhood memory. Well, I'm going to share two because they're linked and they're really my early teen years, not so much my childhood. They're two memories, three years apart linked by one person <laughs> and that would be my grandmother <laughs> my grandmother was she was a character she was personality plus let me tell you uh for 30 or 40 years she was a 
cosmetologist at an upscale uh, department store, uh, one of the high-end ones in St. Louis. Had a very wealthy clientele. She loved, oh, she had, from the time I was little, she had huge hair. Um, she always smelled like Aquanet, and I am positive that if I had smoked a pipe around her, she'd have gone up in flames because the air was always thick with that stuff anywhere near her. Um, she loved gaudy, gaudy outfits and jewelry. Just, I mean, she she was actually a fan of Liberace, so which is not a huge surprise based on the way she dressed. But in the summers, they lived in St. Louis. In the summers, my folks would take us back to St. Louis and sometimes they would just leave us with our grandparents my grandmother loved movies, loved taking us kids to movies. 1981, when I was 13, she thought, um, what better, what better movie to take the boys to than a movie about dragons? She took us to see 1981's Dragon Slayer. Little did she know that in one of those scenes, there's an extensive peek at some booty and side boob, which a 13 year old boy just got a real kick out of. She was embarrassed to death. Oh, my younger brother was only 11. He wasn't quite as interested as I was. Fast forward three years. My grandmother decides once again to take us to the movies. This time it was us and all of our cousins. I think all of whom, except maybe the youngest, were teenagers by then. Um, my younger brother would have been 14 or so, and the younger cousin there, eh, about 12, 11 or 12. Anyway, one of my grandmother's favorite comic actors is Michael Keaton. So she took us. To see Johnny Dangerously. Now, if you've ever seen this movie, it is hilariously stupid um, spoof on gangster movies. Italian Mafia. Throughout the entire thing, there is not a single true curse word. But the main characters do things like calling each other Fadigan Isoles. And uh, it was just, it was too much. My grandmother, while she was giggling hysterically, was horribly apologetic and told all of us we could not tell our parents, which of course is the first thing we did when we got back to the group. Um, but yes, yeah, she was, she was horribly embarrassed by all of this foul language. Of course, the whole time she was giggling hysterically because she liked stupid, funny movies. Now those were some, those were always good childhood memories. My grandmother taking us to movies every summer, every summer she did. Uh, she she was quite the character. Don't enter me in this gaw. I've got too much crap as it is. But y'all, y'all do go visit Rustic Piper. His link will be down below. Check his giveaway out. Leave him a VR with one of your favorite childhood memories. And with that, enjoy your Cobb Tuesday. Let something you like. Enjoy your afternoon.